Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wiggity here, and we are headed back into the chickadee farm. All right, it's Tuesday the 9th, and oh my gosh, we've got some stuff to do. We've oh, got this thing to do. The only good thing about this quest is that you get 100 key gems, so it's kind of worth it, but it's also not worth it. Um, I did forget to put fertilizer on those. I'll have to see if we have some. And we still have the crop order going on. Our jade is ready. Let's see. Rain again tomorrow. Awesome. And pretty good luck. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, um... Well, I guess what we should be doing over the next couple of days... Uh, is working on getting some be some beans so we can do this quest. So we're probably going to have to head back to the island again today. But we got a new uh, profession for our farming, the agriculturist. All right, let's check the mail. Uh, Raz sent us that. That's nice. And we have... Talking about the fair, we might go. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these beets off. I really don't need them for anything apart from maybe sugar. And check this greenhouse. Ooh, we've got some oak resin done. No new things. We need to get, um, well, I was wanting to spread a whole bunch of ancient fruit seeds here, but I don't really know when we're gonna get some more, so. We should at least, like, get something to turn this thing over. Or this soil over. I guess if we end up having a bunch of key beans at some point, we could we could fill it out a lot more. Good, this tree is finally done. And there's a key bean. Maybe we can put that there. I'm actually going to move that down at some point. This just seems like an awkward, awkward place for this. Oh well. Yay! The preserve jars are finally done, so we can move those on over to where we were planning on having them. Hello, animals! How are all of you? Okay, please, please. May I have um, an ostrich egg? Or, ostrich, will you please grow up? <laughs> Just grow up already. We gotta clean up the amaranth. We gotta do some stuff around. Um, oh, geocracking actually would be a good idea today. Since, um, geos tend to be a pretty decent source of, um, of key beans. all that. Let's go ahead and grab the, um, oh, all the geodes that we have. Well, all of the artifact troves, the golden coconuts, and we do have some omni geodes we need to go through. Maybe we'll be able to get everything that we need. That would be really nice. I'm going to be saving, I think, these pineapples in here. We might sell them later, or we might just hold on to them for a little bit. Mm, let's go see if we can find Mr. Leo. Mines. First things first, I'm gonna give a emerald to the dwarf. Hey, buddy. That's for you. And we are at seven. There is Leo. Staring at the water. Leo is at nine hearts, so hoping this should boost him all the way up. Yay, Leo's done! That means we are um, at perfection apart from the dwarf. So everyone else is fully full. Fully, fully full. <laughs> so that's super great. That's all done. Let's see if we can get some beans. And if we can get some um, things that we need to donate to. No, I think I'm going to start with the artifact troves. See if we can get that golden mask. I think that's the, the... That and something else. Is it the bone flute? There's the golden mask. Alright, um... 
I think I'm gonna go sell these off first before we come back and crack some more stuff open. Do, 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 do. Go to the bus stop or just the mines because there's a box right here. Yeah, we'll just drop everything off here. I just need um, all the space that I can get. I think the mask is the only thing that I haven't donated yet out of everything we just found. I'll put that there. Oh, perfect, Jasper. That's one of the few gems that we needed. I think it's just soapstone and um, something else. Oh, soapstone, speak of the speak of the gem. Soapstone and what else was it? Granite. That's granite, no, that's granite. The sandstone is the next one that we need or the last one that we need, which comes from regular ones. Now we could just crack these open in the geo crusher that we have at home, but it takes a like one coal each time and I like to, ooh, I like to keep my coal. <laughs> I hate spending coal. Um, okay, I'm going to actually save, um, I'm not going to crack open anything else. I'm going to wait because I want to, I still want artifact trolls for, um, for some stuff. We got 14, which is good. No, don't process those. I need to keep these Omni Geodes so that I can use them for more artifact troves because I think that's what we need more. Magic rock candy as a reward. I'll just go leave it here. And what's our collections look like? We just have Bone Sword, um, the Elvish thingy, uh, the jewelry, that's what it is. And then uh, Scapula. So Scapula we can get from um, skeletons, I do believe you can get that from skeletons now. Oh, I almost forgot we were going to upgrade a, a tool. Please upgrade the ooh, gold watering can. No, yes, maybe. We're working on, yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade um, actually just the trash can. Thanks, buddy. I actually, I want to make sure that we have the, the watering can for a while because I want to keep um, working on exploring in the volcano until we have enough, until we have enough dragon's teeth to make uh, the, the totem that I want to make. All right, so we did get one ancient seed though, which is great. We're gonna put you right here. Oh, oh, oh. I think. Yeah, never mind. I just remembered something that I forgot, and then I forgot that I already did that thing that I remembered. <laughs> oh, what's on the board? Oh my gosh. Copper, copper, copper. He just asked for copper yesterday, or the day before that. Like, stop it, dude. It's kind of nice that I don't really have to work on friendship with anyone, apart from the dwarf anymore. Although it's beginning to make me wonder if I even need to do anything with um, the the theater at all. Because the whole point of that is for building up friendship with people. Alright, it's 340. Sam's here, Kent's here. A few different people are here. We're going to plant these key beans into the bit of ground. And I'm going to throw on some fertilizer if I can find it. So if we get this deluxe speed grow down on these... Oh, I've already speed growed them. <laughs> Never mind. Having a uh, deluxe speed grow on those will help a lot, actually. Ooh, tiger slime eggs. Yes, please. That's so great. We'll have to put that into the, inc the, the incubator over at home. Maybe tomorrow. I was gonna spend a little bit of time in the volcano, I think, today. Um, I need to make another box. Don't have enough resources, do I? I wish there was a hardwood box that you could craft. That would make my life so much easier. 
a dink spot. Yes, please. With two beans. Sweet. And it's 6.40, so I'm not going to have, like, a whole ton of time to do a whole bunch of spelunkering, but as much as we can. We're looking for dragons. Dragon's tea. And cinder shards, of course. And it doesn't hurt that, uh... Monsters can give you these gem or these be these beans. Ah, there we go. One here. Plus we have one swimming around, so hopefully they'll give me one. Ooh, Mystic Stone, please. Ooh, this is a double chest level. That's pretty cool. We got some beans and the dwarf dagger. Alright, I don't really have any food on me. <laughs> um, we're just gonna get out of here. Implant some of these extra beans down at the, the island farm. Take that, and take that, and take those. Thank you. Ooh, let's just see real quick if there's a chest on this level. Uh, no, it's not one of those ones. Shortcut out. Let's drop some stuff off. Alright, so we have 42. I gotta take this. 42 cinder shards to my name. And then we got three dragon teeth, which was really good. We need, um, I think like four more after that. And I am going to craft, make one of these boxes. My box for, like, uh, the box that I keep here is all the stuff that I bring back home at some point or another. All right, since it's so late, I think I'm going to sleep here on the island and wake up so we can shake some coconut trees and dig up any dig spots that we might need to dig up. And then we'll plant some more beans tomorrow. Cool. Oh, I gotta make sure not to sell the, the row until we have our artisan back. All right, it's Wednesday the 10th. And with um, Agriculturalist on now, I do believe that means that the pumpkins that we have should be ready. It's storming on the farm, so we should really focus on getting a bunch of stuff taken care of. I think I'm gonna bring a few of these, a few seeds back to the old homestead. We're just gonna do a quick little loop around and grab any uh, coconuts we see just to get any extra key beans and then head on home to get that stuff taken care of. All right, dig site, don't let me down. Oh, we just got the prehistoric scapula, which is the last bones that I needed for the um, Perfect, a bean. That's the last bone that we need for the museum, which is so great. All right, well, that's about it for all the stuff that we're gonna do on the island today. Let's go ahead and head back to the farm and then we'll move back home and um, get everything else taken care of there, get a few things planted, see if the pumpkins are ready. And then I gotta sell some stuff to make sure that we have enough money for to buy the seeds that we need. All right. Perfect. Yes, it's pumpkin day. And that's done and that's all done. We have to take care of that real quick. Let's just make a bunch of summer seeds. Okay, 
And then we'll make 200 tea saplings. And that should be enough. All right. So now we're going to be planting these here. Uh, one, two. Hopefully these yams will be done soon so that we can start uh, planting some of them here too. Ooh, the banana tree is fully grown, which means I'm going to get rid of the, the blue discus. And we have an ancient fruit. It's gold star. Fantastic. So we'll drop that off here. And we'll plant some beets until later. All right, cool, cool, cool. I am going to grab this and this. We have not shipped a mango just yet. So we're gonna ship a mango. And this banana, we're gonna ship to. Oh my gosh, fairy rose honey. We're gonna have to stock up on the fairy rose honey for a little while. I don't want to sell it just yet until we get um, Artisan back. Oh, and we're actually going to be switching out um, slimes today, too. And the fish pond. Since we have two eggs, and I only have one slime press or slime incubator in there, we're going to craft a second one. Since I need to craft one anyways... We could always break it down. These guys are all going away. So we are switching to Tiger Slime City. I'm really hoping that we get one of each gender so I don't have to worry about getting a whole bunch more eggs. And then any other eggs that we get, we'll just um sell them. All right, and I brought this octopus in hopes that we got that banana tree. That means that now we are going to switch this out. Um. There are other fish that are probably going to be more beneficial. Like, eventually, I think we're going to have both of those be the lava eel and then just other fish over here. But um, octopus actually give you omni geodes. Not that I really need omni geodes, but I don't need the, the blue discus anymore. And I don't have the other fishes that I would want to put in here. Like, um, spook fish can give you some treasure chests, which is nice. You can always go with the, the slime jack and get a green pond but I have decided that for now we're gonna do octopus because if we get a full octopus place then we can um get some omni geodes just sell those say a quick hi howdy and hello to all of the animals hello animals Ooh, it looks like one of the pumpkins is giant. Ooh, we got two giant pumpkins. Baller. All right. We got to go sell these tea saplings so we can get enough seeds. So we need 432 total seeds, which selling these tea saplings should definitely push us over the edge. All right. 200 saplings, which is way more than I needed to make. <laughs> But we're here now. Okay, whatever. I probably should have just done a hundred. It's fine. Um, we need to buy 363 seeds. It was still 70,000 to spare. Wow. I went a little overboard. You know what? It's okay. It's okay to do that. The nice thing is, is we're going to get this uh, crop order done. And I think I'm going to sell all of the gold star quality pumpkins that we harvest um, for crop order for... Linus or Lewis. Yeah, for Lewis. Oh, so today is also Jody's birthday. Um, I'm not giving gifts out anymore. I'm done with it. Like, I could totally give gifts out to people on their birthdays, but it's not going to really change or affect friendship at all. Because we're maxed out with everybody apart from the dwarf, so, like, what's the point?
All right. Now we just gotta sell 100 pumpkins through the shipping, right? 100? Yeah, so we'll ship all of the Gold Star pumpkins. I'm gonna see if I have any pumpkins in here. All right, we're gonna need a lot more wood. We used way too much of it to, or I used way too much of it to um, try and take care of the money problem that I thought I had, which I don't have. So maybe with the rest of the day, I'll go, I mean, I know it's already pretty late. I'll just go chop some trees down. We'll be able to get some more seeds that way, likely. Now the key beans are really easy to get once you get some. Then you can just pop them in the seed maker and that works pretty good. We're going to have to do a replanting session here soon too. We got three seeds. Okay. Or three more beans. Not as much as I would want. Well, let's go ahead and plant them anyways. Just so we can keep everything um, scheduled together. Alright, and it's off to bed for me. Ooh, our jade's ready. We'll pick that up tomorrow. Yes! <laughs> Sold over a hundred pumpkins. Or no, one hundred pumpkins for a little over 52,000 gold. Not bad. It's the 11th day of the fall. Year two. We gotta get this jade. Oh, the gold trash can is ready to go. It's gonna rain on the island tomorrow. And it's super good luck today. That's great. Um, I need to craft some coffee. <laughs> we are out. Maybe as many as we can. All right, it wasn't that lucky yesterday, so we only got a few batteries. Lewis sent us uh, our next shipping bin, or the mini shipping bin, which I honestly might keep that over at the island by the volcano. I think that would be good. Mangoes and bananas. I guess I'll keep these um, cranberries here until um, until we have the ancient seeds to replace them with. Perfect, we got sturgeon row. I'm almost tempted to break one of these and now we'll just craft another one. Let's go and craft another, just one more preserve jar so we can make this sturgeon row. I'm gonna put this one right here and place the sturgeon row right there. Fantastic. Hello, everyone. Okay, ducks, get in the water. <laughs> Maybe they'll listen. Probably not. You're so close, buddy. You're so close. Do it. <laughs> Nobody listens to me. Finally. There was just one tree that was like sitting up here cramping my style. Alright, we have a couple things to craft real quick. We have recipe, uh, what's it called? The banana pudding. I'm gonna craft that. And the mango sticky rice. Perfect. Now all we have is that and that of known recipes. We'll learn a couple more. I'm gonna go ahead and sell these so I don't need them. We'll sell one banana, one mango. All right, I'm gonna drop this prehistoric scapula off with Gunther. I guess I'll wait on the prehistoric scapula. I need to go to the island so we can check on the key beans over there. If I had a fairy rose, which we have some extra, 
I can get the missing bundle done today, which I think I'm gonna do. So, this is what we're gonna do. I am going to go and pick one of these fairy roses since it's not fully filled out here anyways. We'll wrap ourselves a fairy dust. Yeah. We're going to use that fairy dust on this um, preserve jar that has the surgeon row in it. Just this one. Perfect. And with that, we have our caviar, and that is the last thing that we need for the missing bundle. Let me just double check that I have everything. Caviar, avoid salmon, silver star quality or higher wine, just double checking, a prismatic shard, and yep, one, two, three, four, five, that's it. So that means that these ancient seeds or ancient fruits that I have, I can turn into seats now. Oh no. <laughs> That's the worst. Getting mixed seeds. Like, I don't mind the mixed seeds, but, you know, I would much rather it be any... I would much rather it be, like, one, one ancient seed or something. Hey, you buddy. We've got our gold trash can. Hooray! Thanks. Okay, bye. And head on up to the abandoned Georgia Mart. <laughs> We're going to donate a wine, a duck mayonnaise, a prismatic shard, void salmon, and caviar. Hooray! Oh, <laughs> uh, we match. Kind of. It's a little bit brighter. <laughs> All the others made it back. Except me. Oh, That's kind of sad. Now I can go home too. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime, little Junimo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> it poofed into these weird shark. I think they're stars. Weird star-shaped things. Something good will happen soon. I'm counting on it. I'm just going to check on the status. I think we should have some key beans ready today. I think so. Demetrius is here, Caroline, Kent. Weren't you just here, Kent? All he does is vacation now, I guess. He deserves it. Fantastic. We got quite a few beans and some pineapples, too. Um, let's go ahead and harvest all of these, and then we'll replant them all. Space for 31. And then I brought some sprinklers over. space for one more. Yeah, right here. One, two. Perfect. I'm gonna keep this hot potato right here. Don't know why I called it a hot potato, but it's a hot potato now.
All right, and then off to bed. Yeah. Yes, please. Overnight, the uh, Joja Mart's being worked on, which is super great. <laughs> it's gonna be helpful for <laughs> one, one thing and one thing only. Banana, mango, and the new foods that we needed. Cool. All right, so the 12th day of the fall, we're waking up on the island, bright and shiny. Well, no, I guess it's raining, so it's not bright and shiny. I'm bright and shiny, even if the island isn't. Well, pretty decent luck. Let's go ahead and pop on this triple shot espresso. And see, um, got a couple more. I was kind of holding off on um, picking those pineapples until we have them all ready around the same time. A little weird like that. Oh, that, look at the row of crabs right there. That's hilarious. It's a little crab party. Crab rave. <laughs> we should have um, a few of the key beans done over um, at home too. We have some space inside of the greenhouse. I could totally put them in there as well. I feel like this is going to be my life for quite some time is where can I get some beans? <laughs> Where can I plant them? Nice thing is, is that we have quite some time to... Ooh. We have quite some time to get that done. Uh, 17 days. We have 17,000 for the pumpkins, which is great. Slay all these slimes. Maybe I'll go ahead to the quarry mine a little bit and see um, if we can get some beans that way. Oh, I want to head back to town so we can check out the, the cool thing that we just got, too. It's all good. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Back on home. And, ooh, the yams are ready, too, which is great. We'll go ahead and switch out uh, those for some more key beans. Any extra beans that we have will go into the greenhouse if we have any extra. Just going to drop all of this stuff off into the fridges. I know I don't need them, need them for stuff, but I always feel like I, I would rather have extras of all of these things than not. Because I feel like I'm going to miss out. <laughs> Plus, there is a the key cuisine quest, um, which I always feel like I need to do, <laughs> uh, even though I don't. Uh, let's just keep one stack of beets. That should be good. Have I sold 15 beets? Let's see. We've sold one. Um, there is a collections thing or uh, an achievement for selling 15 of every crop. So we'll sell 14 beets also. It's not needed for perfection, but I still like doing it. And then grab all of these weird looking things. We got 15, which is not bad. got here three even better all right these all can move back inside actually no they should stay out here in case those grow back or for when those do grow back gonna go ahead and make one glazed yam and then that's done all right what else what else what else are we working on right now we are working on that and that so we need to get some more beans um i think i'm gonna do a little bit of mining Oh no, actually what I'm gonna do is go check out this new building that we have. 
and do something with that. I'm gonna head to town. Brand new location. The this place is done. Um, Mysterium. That I'm actually curious. So the only person that we're not maxed friendship with is the dwarf. And um, certain people love certain movies and hate certain movies or just like things. The dwarf pretty much loves every single movie. And so um, we're going to take the dwarf to the movies today. Where are we at with the dwarf? We're at 7 out of 10 hearts. We've gifted them max this week. And being that we're inviting them to a movie on Friday, we can invite them every Friday. We're going to head to the mines. We should be able to get about an entire heart's worth from this thing that we're doing today. Invite you to the movies. Yeah. The dwarf is great because they love every single movie. And of course, it's a day that we have this guy. This guy. <laughs> a palace constructed for the sole purpose of entertainment. Yeah. Oh, hey. Just saw the movie myself. Not bad. Let's buy the dwarf a snack. The dwarf does love star drop sorbet. And they also love uh, rock candy, if you ever see that. Those are the two most loved treats for the dwarf. So I'm going to get star drop sorbet. I think star drop sorbet is loved by pretty much everybody. Except for maybe Leo. I think he just likes it. Alright, let's go. Ooh, the whole gang's all here too. Mysteria. A faint silhouette in the dark. <laughs> Dwarf seems to be in a deep trance. They're really enjoying their star drop sorbet. Desolate unknown void of space where untold horrors await. <laughs> Uh, just spooky things, I guess. A variety of disjointed otherworldly scenes play out. <laughs> spooky, scary skeletons. Spooky, scary. <gasps> you must tell your friends to see Mysterium tonight. Or I will visit you in your sleep. <laughs> the movie has concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. Yeah. Oh, the... um. Theater music is like the best music. I didn't understand a thing, but the flashing lights were mesmerizing. And we are now at eight hearts with the dwarf. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we're out. Now, I am going to head on this way. <laughs> we're going to go do a little bit of mining. Hopefully get some beans. I guess we could always just use some bombs. Or a slingshot with explosive ammo. One bean in this whole track, huh? Well, I tried. <laughs> I actually think I still have skeletons to work on for my monster goals, so maybe we'll go to the, like, skeleton levels. Yeah. I was just here just in case we got, like, some ancient seeds or whatever. Oh, that's right. I dumped a bunch of stuff in this box, didn't I? That's silly. 70. 
fight some skeletons. Alright, we got 11 more, so I think I'm just going to go take these um, home, plant them real quick before we can't. Um, I do need to grab, I think I have 11 speed grows actually. I can always craft a, a little bit more if I need it. And off to bed for me, and on to another week, or another day. Alrighty friends, that's gonna be it for this episode of the Chickadee Farm. Perfection is so close, I can almost taste it. Uh, just a couple more things left to do, and mostly just making a bunch of money. Alright friends, I'm Wickedy, thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you all next time. Bye!